what's up guys round three alrighty on this video we're going to talk about the TX 16s um, I've already covered two other videos one for my Fataba 18mz one for my ethos uh, x20s from FR sky so this one right here I'm gonna do this one a little bit different We'll start off. I'm not going to show you how to download paint.net. Um, go back and check out the other videos on that, where to get it. Um, it's just a simple search on the internet. Uh, so, Sky Raccoon, let me get you in this picture in picture here. And Sky Raccoon website here. <clears throat> You'll see it on the other videos that we had, uh, that, or that I did. Uh, they have a pretty comprehensive. Uh, little um, library of, of aircraft here. I've got the Night Tundra up here that uh, we we were looking at on the other one. So if you go to down here to the Edge TX and Open TX, um, they have pre-made. All you have to do is click on them and download them. Uh, if you find an image in here that you like and that's cool your job's done all you have to do is just download it um, save it to your desktop and move it to your SD card and I'll show you how to do that in just a second uh, if you don't find one that you like some people you know may not want to use a stock photo they might want to do something a little bit different you can take a picture with your cell phone However, you know, I don't, I can't tell you how to get it to you. Some people send them to themselves through emails. Some people hook it, hook their cell phone. Me, this is how I do it. I hook my cell phone to my PC through a USB cable. And then I just look at the files and download any pictures or anything off of that. That's the easiest way. And it's the, the best way to, to keep your pictures and the resolution intact. Um, that way you don't have, you know, the, the bit rate, well, not bit rate, but the quality isn't, uh, lost and there's no quality suffered. I just kind of feel like when you send high res photos of stuff through email, you kind of might lose a little bit of quality there. So if you can possibly do it, hook your USB cable up to your uh, computer and um, download your pictures that way uh, to work with. So we're going to go to paint.net, um, but check out, like I said, check out Sky Raccoon. They got thousands of pictures you know this you know could save you this whole step right here that I'm about to do but let's say you have a picture of your plane on your phone or whatever you get it on your PC you really like it and this really works if you have a special plane that you've built or maybe something that was just a white foamy plane that you've painted a certain way and instead of having a stock photo of just a white foamy plane that everybody else has bought in the United States you actually have a picture of yours you want to put it on your radio so Take your picture, get it on your PC, put it on your desktop, and use this program that I'm about to show you. So we're going to open up paint.net. Um, I'm going to start off with a new, a new file here. So you go to File, go to Open. I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to do my logo on this one. So once you pull up your file you got your picture opened up in it you'll go to image up here at the top and you'll hit resize um, maintain aspect ratio right here you want to make sure that stays unchecked um, and I'll show you why here I've done this on all the other videos but we'll do it on this one also so um, if you don't if you leave that checked out, you'll be bouncing back and forth trying to, uh, you know, just trying to get your numbers right. So we're going to change this for Edge TX. We've got to go 192 by 114. So if you put 192 in the first one, and when you go to put in 114 on the second, if you do not change maintain aspect ratio if you did not uncheck it it will change the top number so you'll be fighting yourself you'll be going back and forth back and forth and nothing will really work and now keep in mind these don't have to be exactly dead on the numbers that I'm giving you but this is what uh, 
the factory, like whenever they send uh, stock photos on the, you know, with the radios and stuff, this is, these are the numbers that they give. So I'm going to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and I'm going to change that back to 192. And we are good with that. Look at that. Buddy, that is a tiny, tiny little thing right there. So we're going to go, we're going to save this. So we're going to save as, make sure we're going to desktop. And I'm just going to put, let's see, radio. I'm just going to call it radio. And we're going to make it a, a PNG file. You could do it on JPEG or PNG. So we are done there. That has been saved to our desktop. So I will minimize that. You see right down here. This, these are a couple from a few other videos that I was doing. But the radio right here, that's the one we're working with right now. So I'm going to open up my, I already have my SD card um, plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, going to go ahead and open that up now. You can see you got TX16 SD card. I, I name my SD cards so that, you know, as I'm doing these videos, it makes it a lot easier. Like I said, the, the video I was doing earlier, I was trying to do all three of them on one video and I had a mess. I had Windows opening up, you know, that for three different uh, SD cards and all kinds of stuff going on. And it was just a mess. So I just decided, decided to just break them up and make it a little, a little simpler to do. So on these, on your Radio Master T16, TX16S, uh, when you insert your SD card in your card reader, the first thing that's going to pop up, you'll get these folders right here. So you'll want to go to Images. And these are all the images that I have saved on my thing. If you'll see right here, Radio is already on here because I did this earlier today. So... I'm not going to redo that. It's a, it's simple to just drag it and bring it over here. That's all you got to do and, and drop it in. Um, it's easy peasy. So I have a couple of pictures here that I actually made on paint.net. Let me see if I can pull this up for you here. Um, drag this over here. Here's one that I made. This was made on paint.net. Um, this one right here was too. I made all of these on paint.net for the uh, welcome screen whenever I turn on uh, my Radio Master and the Edge TX kicks in. So I believe that's the one that I have on it right now. Or is it... Yeah, it might be one of those. But um, so once you have that downloaded, uploaded up to your... Uh, you drag and drop it onto your SD card. That part is done. Um... The next part is just take your SD card out of the SD card reader, put it back inside your Radio Master, cut it on. Uh, it's a little bit different on the Radio Master. It's, it, there's a lot more steps you have to go through because it's Edge TX. I'm not really going to go through all those because there's different versions. Everybody's got different versions. I haven't updated mine to the brand new version. Um, I learned my lesson with Edge TX, and this is just, this ain't really a rant. This is just kind of like a little lesson learned for me. Maybe you'll learn something. If you'll see one of my other videos uh, that I had the maiden failure on, uh, that day we went out, <clears throat> I had updated my, uh, my Radio Master a couple of days before we went out, and when I got out there, all the planes that I had on there that I brought out to fly, I had to rebind every single one of them. So that was a bit of a pain in the butt, trying to get to the the ports on the receivers and put in bind plugs and uh, get everything to work right. So when it comes to Edge TX and downloading all the new firmware and everything, I kind of just some folks are, you know, as soon as it downloads, they got to they gotta jump on the new thing and, uh, you know, they got to constantly upgrading and constantly uh, updating their firmware. Me, I kind of leaning towards if it's working and it has everything on it that I need it to do, I kind of just leave it alone unless I absolutely have to. Now, if I, I do keep an eye out for new firmware and I'll look at the updates and I'll look at the... Uh, 
the the new things that they added to it, like the new little uh, user interfaces and uh, stuff like that. So if I see something that kind of tickles my fancy, or there's a there's a function on there that I like that I would like to have, then yeah, I'll I will update. But for the most part, for the Edge TX, once I find something, I kind of just stick with it. You know, I might I don't know, maybe I'll update it here soon. Uh, there's been quite a few updates since then, you know, maybe I'll, I'll update it again. But just remember that whenever you update, check everything to make sure before you go out. Uh, and I was planning on doing it, but I mean, like I said, I got out of the field and everything. I had to rebind everything. It was a real pain in the butt. But so I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to put the SD card in and I'm going to give you just a brief little overview of it but with the edge tx you know you got to go in you got to set up your widgets you got to select your screen do you want a three and one or a three and two or a four and four you have to select your screen and then you have to set up what widgets you want and everything so if you're already using edge tx you probably already know how to do all that so i don't need to go into it but i'm gonna put the sd card in and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you the screen let you see what it looks like on the screen so all right, guys, I'm back. Got the SD card in, got the radio on. Let me uh, give you just a little piece of advice. Whenever you were pushing that SD card down in that slot, you know how they have the little spring-loaded little thingy and it locks it down into place. Make sure you get that thing locked all the way down before you take your finger off of it. My SD card, I did have it pushed all the way down, and that sucker shot out. I'm lucky I found it. It shot out, went over my shoulder, and I found it on the floor behind me, so... Yeah, make sure you're covering it up or something. But here's the final product there. You can kind of see. I got my my icon over there. So with this version that I'm running, um, let's see if I can find out a little bit about what I got going on here. I'm running 2.8.0 Flying Dutchman on this one. That was the last... That was the last update that I did. Um, so, but if you click model right here, you'll have to scroll down to where it says model image. And you'll have to select your image in there. When you select that, you'll see a whole list of in that file that we had open that'll have all those model mem or all those model pictures in there. So you'll just have to select the one that you uh, that you put in there, and as you set up your widgets on your screen, um, one of them, if I can remember how I did it, you select your, go down here to the lower button down here, set up widgets, and right here you can select what goes into into your widgets like i said if you if you know how to use edge tx it's uh it you already know how to to do all this uh for me i find it some people you know enjoy uh the tinkering and the the custom aspect of it and and i do to some extent but uh i don't know some days i just want to be able to set my model up and just go fly without having to spend four hours setting up everything and uh you know going through everything and setting up every single perimeter i just rather just have it kind of simplified and dumbed down a little bit for me but anyway that's it guys uh that's all three of them right there i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go make me some hot dogs the boss lady is out with the ladies tonight so i gotta fend for myself so i'm getting kind of hungry but until the next time guys Hope you guys have a good night, good weekend, have good flying, try to stay warm, peace out.